things that happened here in this clubhouse. Yeah. This has to be one of the most spectacular right now. You were here. It was I just said I'm probably going to have to carry this chair around with me everywhere. We have to go over there. Ah! I'll pass on the lounge. I know, there's that times. Would be funny, that would be a funny picture. We're all lounge out. All of us lounging with our sandwiches. Yes, yeah, that's what usually happens with the kids. We have some friends down. Yeah, you look around the chairs. Let's see who, besides Mrs. Stella and Lucy, who's in the same That girl, that's Karen. Which you may have. And who else? No, Karen. No, Evelyn. Evelyn is not here. So we're not going to eat first? You decided we're not going to eat first? Okay. She wants to get her and then get out. Is that a real way? Yeah. Oh, she's taking it off now. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, the water's going to wreck it. Otherwise, it's going to get all light. But it's so beautiful. She looks so beautiful in it. But we'll put it back on. Okay. Yeah, that's rolling. Just to let y'all know, that's rolling. That's on. That's live. What? The video came live. Oh. Hopefully, the guy doesn't play before he eats. Are we going to do it? Or, or do, do you guys have any sandwiches with you? That's Joni. Like an effort. Are you ready for something? No. Uh, well, we've got water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Blue thing, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's just crazy. That camera's on. If you don't want to watch it. Oh, really? Yes, it is on. Where are you? Yes. Camera's on. Yeah, I know. I turned it off. It's supposed to be recording for It's Joey. recording. I'm going to send this oh. to Jules and okay. it's not. Uh, I'm glad to point. Glad to the point of tears. Is this your pain, girl? It's my pain. Where'd you get this one? That's my, that's my homegrown cane. The other one's my fancy. This one is. Didn't know there was a, oh, a oh, we okay. have to get close over there. Yeah, you guys I think I'll bring a chair, though, because... Oh, uh -huh. okay, you guys like me? All right, we're going to get started. You know, a lot of people mispronounce their last name, Ka'ukulele, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I was thinking about ukuleles. <laughs> the human mind trying to explain baptism in our language is like an ukulele, trying to interpret Beethoven. The music is just too complex and for that little instrument, too majestic. And like a ukulele, no human, not even a Bible scholar, can fully explain what Job's about to do, what it means to God when one of his children is baptized. Baptism has many facets. The cleansing, burial, resurrection, death of the old, birth of the new. Together, all those facets reveal God's grace, his mercy. We like to say his aloha for his children. Now, once a person has admitted her sin and turned to Christ for salvation, the next step is proclamation to both God and to humans that she is now a follower of Christ. Baptism is that proclamation. Joe, we know you've been a follower of Jesus for a long time. <laughs> and as you told me, you were baptized according to your church's practices when you were much younger. And that was a good day, right? <laughs> but what makes today extra special and extra beautiful to God is, and to those of us who are honored to be here, is that recently you heard the Lord say to you, daughter, get baptized again. And you answered, you're today answering simply, okay, all right, dad, I'll do it. In many ways, you remind me of the Ethiopian officer who Philip baptized in Acts 8. Because you're saying to the father and to, to all of us, look, here's the water right here in our complex. What is stopping me? being baptized today. Let's do this. Now, although you 
known for many years that Jesus died for you and rose again so you could have eternal life with the Father. And although many years ago you received that salvation personally and you asked him to be your leader into your young heart, this next step, this baptism, just makes sense, doesn't it? You have recently experienced God's healing and grace very personally and powerfully. And so it makes sense to say mahalo to him in this very holy and sacramental place. This is like an altar. In many ways, you are like Noah. Once the waters dried up and he set foot on dry land, he fell to his knees and he built an altar, like you're doing today. So you're like Noah. You're teaching us that the right response is to honor God in every circumstance and to praise him immediately. Don't wait. So today, as you enter the waters of baptism and you go under the water and you come out again, you are declaring to the Father that you will plunge your whole body and soul into the promise and the power of Jesus and that you'll submit to the cleansing water of baptism and receive, receive the sacrifice of you today and that your life it's not the same anymore when you come out of the waters of baptism because you're both new and alive in Christ. So, here's some water. What's stopping you from being baptized today? Let's do this. Okay. Woohoo!